Okay, Samantha. I know it might seem so stupid, but it took a lot. And it's nice just to feel like I did something for my younger self, you know? The fact that this is an extra, extra large now is so crazy. What is this? There is a DM from Maureen Kelly, AKA the CEO of TAR, inviting me to Hello everyone. I need to address my voice. It's a little rough, literally. For my boyfriend's birthday, we went to Aspen to go skiing. He went snowboarding, I went skiing. I discovered when I was in Wisconsin for Christmas that skiing wasn't so bad and I really enjoyed me skiing. Here's some footage. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm driving. Do you see me kick it out? Oh, girl, 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 girl. I love you, but I don't know how to stop. At some point on that trip, well, the last day, which was Valentine's Day, I woke up extremely like this. <laughs> Actually, the throat is a new development. I don't know if it was the elevation, which is a biatch, by the way, or if I just didn't bundle up enough, which is what Gerald seems to think the issue was. But I'm home, and I've been home. What's the date today? The 21st. We've been home for six days, five of which of those I did not leave the downstairs couch, the upstairs couch, or my bed. You haven't missed much. I have just been cleaning the house, Gerald about once a month, maybe not every month, but has, you have lots to say, huh? Has to go on a work trip every month for a couple of days. This is the first one he's gone on since we've moved into the house together. So I'm here alone at the moment. It's my first time and I really could not fall asleep last night. I don't know why I was so spooked. Piper, don't drink out of the toilet. Piper, no, no, honey. It is so different having two children, let me tell ya. There's a shortage on ADHD meds, so I haven't been able to get a refill in like two weeks and it is really kicking my butt. I'm here by myself. I want the house to be nice for him to come home to. I keep making the joke even though it's not really a joke well I don't know is it a joke that I'm a stay-at-home girlfriend um I clearly have a job and I do things but you guys know this I'm really settling into my homemaker era I've been cooking us dinners I learned how to make a steak and I've been doing a lot of things like off camera it just feels like I'm really living life and genuinely I'm really happy one of the things that I want to do while he's gone is just like make sure he comes back to a nice house and my cat is attacking the pillow Dobby he also attacks TVs microwaves mirrors anything that shines light off of it which does spook me a little bit just because they say cats can see things that we can't. That might be true because he definitely sees stuff that I can't see. I have exciting news to share with you and I'm not gonna wait till the end of the video to do it. Approximately two weeks ago, I saw Brooke Schofield post a video on TikTok saying that she was super bummed because she was supposed to be getting on a private plane the next morning to go to Bora Bora with Tart. And then there was a hurricane in Bora Bora, meaning the trip got postponed. And it got postponed to a time where her and Tana could not go anymore. I then made what some might call a very desperate video. I just call it ambitious on TikTok saying, hey, invite me. I didn't hear anything back for two weeks. I just thought it was funny and that maybe my name was thrown out there now and they would consider me maybe for the next one. If y'all have been around, okay, I tried to be a beauty guru in the 2016 era. That's how I started. That beauty community is what inspired me to create and is the reason that I'm standing right here making videos for you even if I don't just make like beauty content. I wouldn't be doing this without them. When I saw they were going back to Bora Bora, I just had to just take a shot, right? And I didn't hear anything for two weeks. I was pretty sure it was like dead and the trip is literally next week. So I was like, okay, I'm maybe the next one, you know? Yesterday, I opened my TikTok and there is a DM from Maureen Kelly, AKA the CEO of TAR, inviting me to Bora Bora. <laughs> We're going to Bora Bora in eight days with Tar on private jets. You guys, private jets. I don't even have to squish into a coach seat. I've been crying all morning. It really hit me today. I know it might seem so stupid, but it took a lot. But it's nice just to feel like I did something for my younger self, you know? Yesterday I was kind of in a panic. I get to bring a plus one. And of course, Mama Kelly's coming with me. I don't know if it's like not cool to bring your mom, but I simply don't give a shit. Never ever Ever, ever in my life or in her life did we ever think we would go to Bora Bora. She's turning 50. Her birthday is March 22nd and she was kind of bummed because she wanted to go somewhere tropical for her birthday but just like with the economy and stuff like her family hasn't been able to afford it. She was really sad that like she wasn't gonna get to do anything big for her 50th birthday and she had kind of just accepted that and I was feeling really bad and like trying to figure out a way that we could do something for her. To get this email and find out that I get to take my mom to Bora freaking Bora is so crazy. I've been crying all morning, like I said. Yesterday I was just in shock and panic ordering stuff because 
because I don't have any swimsuits really that fit me. I'm not a 3X in a lot of stuff anymore. I'm more of a 2X, which is another thing we can talk about because I'm inching towards roller coaster territory. And by that, I mean the last time I was able to fit on a roller coaster was like 15 pounds ago. I actually haven't lost a lot of weight recently, maybe only like five-ish pounds. If I die, pray for me. Okay, it was just a nice UPS, man. It's okay. Don't panic. I haven't lost a ton of weight recently. I was kind of upset with myself for it for a second, but then that's that unhealthy mindset that everything has to happen super quick or like I'm not doing good enough. I've done a really good job in the past week of like kicking that in the bungholio. I'm feeling positive again. And so the fact that I'm almost into roller coaster territory has me so excited. I cannot wait to take you guys on a universal trip. I just feel so like grateful, not only for you guys, because I wouldn't have these opportunities without you. You guys did bully them into it. So like, thank you. I'm so freaking lucky. Yes, I did have to work to get here, and it's taken seven years, you know what I mean? But a lot of people want it and never get it. Like, just because you work really hard in this industry doesn't always mean it's gonna pay off. I think if you have a good heart and you're doing it for the right reasons, it will eventually, but I got so lucky and I will never stop thanking you guys for that. I'm also proud of myself for not giving up. This industry can be really discouraging, especially when it comes to like being plus size, like plus size people are overlooked in this industry a lot. I'm really proud of myself for not giving up when everyone made fun of me for doing it or when I was the joke of the town, when I had thousands of comments telling me how worthless I was because of my weight. I'm just happy that I didn't give up because I wouldn't be able to have these moments without going through those especially this past year bringing my career from not just YouTube to also being on TikTok like TikTok is a whole different ball game people are freaking ruthless and mean and say the most outlandish things out of their own pain it honestly was a hard transition I think I'm getting more used to it now I'm just proud of myself for not giving up and I'm very grateful for you guys because I wouldn't be going to Bora Bora without you and I'm gonna bring you with don't you freaking worry I want to show you this package if you choose to get mad at me for it that sucks. I've been trying to find this in store for about a year. Did you see who it's from? One of the things that I want to start spending more money on or getting better quality of is jewelry. And I have seen this ring for so long. It's not cheap, but it's not a crazy like $5,000 ring, okay? Not even a $1,000 ring. I believe this was 400. Genuinely, I've thought about this for so long and I've wanted it for so long. I gave up on trying to find it in a store and I just ordered it online. It just doesn't seem like as special of an experience to order something like this online. I got myself this ring from Dior and I hope it fits. It's so pretty. It says Dior, I'll put it on. I bought it in hopes of it being on my pinky. She's stunning. I love it. Our first piece of really nice jewelry. And now I'm gonna go back to cleaning my house. Thank you, I love you. We're feeling very grateful this morning. It's a strainer. I hate dishes. Ow. I love cheese graters. I'm still a housewife in training. There's just so many more dishes to do when you're cooking dinner every night, which I get is a regular concept that most people know, but I'm pretty much just gonna eat factor meals this week probably, and soup while he's gone, because he doesn't get back until, oh, I guess he gets back tomorrow night. Well, that's not that bad. My favorite meal to make is that creamy Cajun chicken pasta. Well, there's no chicken. Creamy Cajun sausage and shrimp pasta that I've made for you guys before. It's just so freaking good. I love it. I mean, it kills my stomach. I definitely think I'm allergic to gluten or something, but one day I'll go and get a test done. I got my blood done from the doctor, like redone. Haven't got those results back yet. I'm hoping that they're better, like my A1C levels or whatever that were pre-diabetic before. This is what I use in my dishwasher. Wonderful. That's some progress. And we have a clean sink and a happy scrub mommy. I'm in the same clothes. So naturally, you may assume it's the same day. It's not, it's the next day. I just haven't changed my clothes. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. I just got some groceries. Gerald gets home tonight. He doesn't get home till late, but he's still gonna wanna eat. We're gonna make some white chicken chili minus the beans. Neither of us like beans. I'm gonna spend my evening crocheting. I'm gonna gently set you down. Hang out, finish cleaning, I have to vacuum, I'm doing laundry. Truly house girlfriend things. Let's go through the groceries. So, we have milk. I don't drink a lot of milk, but he must because it disappears somehow. If you don't shred your own cheese, 
What are you doing? I don't normally get Publix brand. I usually stick to like smaller brand cheeses because they're usually better in my head. I don't know if that's true. So I just got a couple different cheeses. We got cheddar, white cheddar, Monterey Jack. We're gonna make our own mixture of cheeses. I do not like sour cream, Gerald does. One of the toppings that it said you could use was sour cream. Less fat cream cheese, half and half. Okay, I've never had pepper jack cheese, but I thought in chili it might be good. I've tried their yogurt before, but not their little smoothies. So this is a two good smoothies, strawberry banana, chicken broth. I got low sodium and regular. You guys have watched me talk about this for years. Hidden Valley Ranch, dip packets. I'll never get over. Greek yogurt, these packets, carrots and celery, cayenne pepper, a thing of hot green chilies, and two things of mild, a can of corn, cumin, and I'm saying cumin because I really hope it's not coming. Bananas. I believe these are jalapenos. I don't know that I've ever cut up or used a fresh jalapeno before. Celery sticks, baby carrots, some avocados, fresh cilantro, strawberries are in season, or so people tell me. Blueberries, tortilla strips for topping the chili. I got gluten-free bread. I'm allergic to something. Raspberries, no chicken. Mm-hmm, oh that's good. I'm cheating and I'm putting a rotisserie chicken in the chili instead of using chicken breasts. Sue me. A staple in this household is Oikos Pro vanilla yogurt. I love eating it with fruit. Plain, non-fat Greek yogurt is what I use for my ranch dip, so we're setting this aside. Strawberry and vegan berry. Vanilla. Peach and cloudberry. Vanilla bean, extra creamy. And wild blueberry and bilberry. Two Chobani flips. I got some more core powers. Gerald likes these and I. I do. They help me hit my protein goals during the day. I also got two chocolates. Alani, if you're watching, I just ran out of my cherry twist. If you could send more, <laughs> that would be great. I went and got a couple of Alani's for the next couple days. I got blue slush. I think I've tried this at some point, but I don't remember what it tastes like. It's the Arctic white. And I think that's everything. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna make some ranch dip. Then I'm gonna look up and see how long it's gonna take me to make the chili. Let's get to work. I quickly give appreciation to the flowers that Jero sent me today. He is, uh, he's gone on his work trip still. I haven't been sad, I'm just mean to myself when I'm sick, so I've been a little bit in my head, but nothing a snack can't fix. And some lovely flowers. Rinsing it off. It is good. Okay. Oh, interesting. A weird one. My favorite snack, I've showed this to you guys so many times, but there is a difference between the ranch seasoning that comes in like the tubs versus the dips mix. Hi. Sorry about the interruption. I use Greek yogurt. People use sour cream. I just think that I want to eat the whole damn thing, you know? Which you can do that with sour cream too, but I'm trying to lose weight, so. But you have to get the dips mix. You can't get the seasoning. The seasoning is not the same. It will not taste the same. You hear me? I do like mine aggressively ranchy. I did put quite a bit, but I probably used like a fourth of that packet or a third, no, a third. Mix it all up, you put the mix in the Greek yogurt and mix it all up. Just a smidge, that was a big smidge. I actually want this to be a little colder, so I'm gonna stick it in the freezer for like three minutes. I'm just eyeballing how many I think it's gonna take to eat the container. I feel like that'll do it. I can't be the only one that has to have a snack while I cook. Oh. I don't think this is gonna have to cook for as long because we're using a whole freaking chicken. Bok bok. Oh. Is there like a right way to do this? You can't eat it all, then there's not gonna be any for the damn soup, man. I guess I'm just gonna go in. I washed my hands. Hands are the move. A wishbone! I'm gonna have Gerald do that with me when he gets back. Shredding up some chicken. We've got chicken topped with salt, pepper. Pepper. Nothing worse than unseasoned chicken. Cumin. I feel like this is gonna make it spicy. Chili powder. I'm cheating with the minced garlic. Don't hate me. All of the cans now. Maybe we need a carrot break. I don't know how I got this can opener on the can. Oh, damn it. Well, never mind. It's supposed to not leave sharp edges somehow. It's not even cutting it. Let it go. 
corn. I need these chilies. How the frick did I do that? That was a can of mild green chilies. This is a can of hot green chilies. In the pot. The chicken to veggie ratio at the moment seems kind of off. Chicken broth. I'm sure I'm supposed to cut up the cilantro. This is improvisation. So this is now saying to cook the chicken. I've already done that, the chicken's cooked. So does that mean I should just add everything in? Or well, I'm gonna get this hot first. I'm setting it to hot so she gets warmed up. This is what it looks like so far. We're gonna let it warm up and then I'm gonna skip to step five, which is adding the cream cheese in the half and half. If it's not already incredibly obvious, <laughs> I've never made this before. It says that this should be softened. It feels pretty softened to me. We need a fourth cup of half and half. Okay, four ounces of this cream cheese. Why am I using a metal fork? Okay, Samantha, maybe a little more gentle. The directions say to just add some broth to it before you put it in. I feel like it needs a little more cream cheese. Don't ask questions. I was supposed to drain the corn. So I think there's gonna be too much liquid. Like, what is this? If this is gonna piss you off, don't look. I'm adding some cheese in here. Just a little. <laughs> That's enough cheese, Samantha. Calm down. But I do need it to thicken up. It says to use cornstarch for that. I don't have any cornstarch, but I have flour. I'm sure it'll be the same shit, or it'll make a loaf of bread. I'm gonna let this be, put the cover on, and we'll come back in 20 minutes to check on it. I don't know if this is gonna be any good. This is what it looks like. It is not thick. I tried to take out extra liquid in my bowl because I'm into the soup vibe. I just added a little bit of salt and pepper. I still haven't tried it. I don't know what Gerald thinks white chicken chili is, but this is just chicken soup with corn. Oh, oh that's spicy. Oh wow. I'm gonna add the fajita strips. Adds a little crunch. <clears throat> Something in it is very spicy. But if you can get past that, it's very good. I'm not mad at it. Wow, that is spicy. I give it a six. I can make improvements. But it's a yummy dinner. Just another day. And I thought that this was gonna be a packing vlog. It's not. It is the announcement of the Bora Bora trip, but I don't wanna just not hang out with you until I pack. So I'm not packing for another like five days. I do have a lot of packages getting here today that I ordered last minute for the trip because my clothes, a lot of them just don't fit me anymore, or at least like my nice dresses and summer clothes. So my outfits probably aren't gonna be as lovely, but it's not about the outfit. It's about the experience. I'm just lucky to be gone. My voice is not any better this morning, and my mental did feel a little bit off yesterday, so I have decided just, just to have a relaxing day. And I know my other days might look relaxing, but a lot of stuff off camera is just like editing and like boring things that I don't think you would wanna watch. So today, we're gonna go for a walk. Crazy, right? A blanket that I started in Wisconsin like a month ago. Initially, I was gonna make it this giant queen size blanket and then I just realized I'm good. I'm good with a throw blanket for the podcast room. So I started putting the border on it. That in itself is gonna be a process, but I figured we could go work on that. Maybe build a Lego or two. So many possibilities. Today I woke up and I'm in the 250s, which I don't know that I've seen 250 on a scale since which I know a number doesn't matter, but it's still like my work is paying off. I haven't seen 250 on a scale since high school. No, you have cat litter on your mouth. We don't eat cat poop, that's gross. Oh, she has so much cat litter in her mouth and I have been so gaggy. And everybody, whenever I say that, you guys automatically assume I'm pregnant. I promise I'm not pregnant. Some of the symptoms of Zepa mimic that of pregnancy symptoms, food aversions, and just in general, I'm super gaggy. A non-scale victory is that I got a package from Buff Bunny yesterday, and I've always been super open that one of the things about Buff Bunny and just athleisure in general that I haven't loved are sports bras because I'm somebody who has, I have a big patch of fat right here that kind of just like hangs down. I'm not insecure about it, it's just, it's uncomfortable in bras and it can make a lot of bras not fit me. So whenever I would receive the bras, I was always kind of just like, mm, like I, they're gonna be cute, but I probably won't love them. 
And there was the occasional one that I would love. And I even talked with Heidi so much about maybe like making my own bra that actually would fit. One of my favorite cuts was always this square neck. I think it's the Revolution Sports Bra. This one's in chai latte. This is an XXL. Oh wait, that's crazy. It's a size down. I've always been a 3X in their bras and they would fit, but they weren't like the most comfortable thing. So that makes sense. Like no matter what bra across all brands, none of them were perfect. And so I went to try these all on yesterday and they were so cute and fit so good. The fact that this is an extra, extra large now is so crazy. In my head, my body looks the same. Like I can't tell a difference. I can feel a difference, but I still like look at things and I'm okay, that's not gonna fit. I don't remember what these were called, but all of this stuff is launching on the second. This should be up before then. I'll leave a link. Code Sam Joe will save you money. Always been a buff bunny girly though. They're leggings. You guys are constantly asking me what leggings I wear. It's only buff bunny. Do you see how much better that is held in now? It's not perfect, obviously, but that's crazy. We're besties, so that's just something I wanted to share because I was really freaking excited about it. I know I'm taking medicine, so I'm sure there's some people that will say like, it's not your work, it's the medicines, but it's not magic. Like you still have to try and change your diet, change your relationship with food. I've had weeks where I have just ate whatever I wanted and you don't lose weight. Like it's not gonna make, it's not something that will just make you lose weight even if you're overeating. That one was just too thick for my liking right now. This is also new from Buff Bunny. Probably one of the softest zip ups I own. I'm almost out of face wash. I'm currently using the Caudalie face wash. Yesterday I got a package from Verse. Oh cute. I wanna wear this. This will be so cute for Bora. <laughs> How do I explain the material? Woven. I love Verse. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Target. They just have sent me stuff before and I've really enjoyed it. They sent the Buff It Out AHA Exfoliating Body Scrub. Daymaker Myco Crystal Exfoliator. I'm going to try this. So thank you Verse for this. This feels nice by the way. We're just really gonna focus on our mental today because whenever I get sick, which I gotta look into that too because I was just really sick in December, beginning of January. So getting sick twice in two months is just not really normal for me. What was I saying though? No. I really want my five hands back. So far, I think I like this. I think I'm gonna switch ADHD meds because of the shortages. Whenever I get sick, I just get a little bit mean to myself. So I figure one of the things that I've been practice or trying to practice or preaching to you at least is being able to take the time to do the things that fill your cup even if you're busy like even if I have something else to do still making sure like letting myself know that it's okay that you do have priorities or responsibilities to do but it's also a priority for me to just take a moment to crochet because it makes me happy you don't have to tell yourself you don't get to do those things and they can only be like a reward like it's okay if you don't get everything done in one. It's okay if you do not get your entire to-do list done in one day. The sun is going to come up tomorrow, I promise. I'll tell myself I'm a failure if I don't do every single thing on my list. We've now entered my happy place and this is the blanket that I've been talking about. This is the blanket that I've been making. It's not small, but it's just not big enough. It could be a little bigger, but I'm over it. So I'm finishing this thing. I've done one row, as you can see, of the colorful yarn as a border. I think I'm gonna do like three or four rows of different colors before we add on the scalloped edge. Great start to the day is just to sit here and crush it because that's what I feel like doing. So gosh darn it, that's what I'm gonna do. Ba -bum -bum. Let's crochet. We're gonna work on another part of the board. I don't know why this brings me so much peace and I'm so happy I discovered it. I'm going to remember, okay? I am going to remember, remind me, or there'll already be late, the two beanie tutorials that I watched that really helped me learn how to follow a pattern, how to just crochet in general. I also will link the mitten video that I watched. I made a purse out of granny squares. I'm still learning how to join granny squares together. I'll probably sell the bags, beanies, and maybe, maybe I could do like custom order blankets. I just know we're kind of moving out of winter. If any of you guys are fellow crocheters, is there something I can get to put on my fingers, like a cover of some sort to protect my fingers? It can get raw sometimes from the hook hitting it so many times. 
times over and over again. But once again, like I said earlier, we are prioritizing our me time. I'm just really happy to have a hobby, especially one where it allows me to create. I've always loved creating videos. So I guess there's always been a part of me that was artistic in some kind of sense to be able to find so much passion in creating something. But I've never really been one to make a lot with my hands. It is just so satisfying and I am so proud when I finish something. My brain a lot of the times will tell me that I'm wasting my time or I could be doing something even for work like a video and my brain will still tell me that, oh, that's not enough. And for some reason with crochet, it doesn't do that. My brain almost rewards me and it's like proud of itself for accomplishing something. I don't know why it's proud of a blanket over proud of a career that it's built, but hey, at least it's being nice to itself for once, you know? I also don't know why it makes me feel like such a girly pop. I go, don't mind me, I'm just crocheting a blanket. Like you need something, give me a week notice, I'll crochet it for you. Staring at the blank page before you open up the dirty window, the sign illuminate the words that you cannot find. If enough of you guys comment and tell me that you would watch a crochet with me video where I'm not like teaching you really but we're just sitting down and we maybe talk for an hour while we crochet let me know I don't normally have my rings on and they keep getting caught in the blanket but my rings make me feel pretty I never used to wear rings I know I have said this before I didn't want to draw attention to my fingers really they were just so short and sausage stubby in my brain and I would say the past year maybe two, mostly the past year. I've really gotten over that. I deserve to be decorated and adorned as well. I just wanna encourage you. Oh shoot, I already lost my train of thought. I've only been seriously crocheting since the beginning of January, so maybe two months. One, we all start somewhere. And two, I struggled a lot in the very, very, very beginning. I would watch videos and I'm like, there is simply no way I'll ever get to a point where I can do that. And here we are. I have a crochet page. If you guys wanna follow it or maybe start your crocheting journey with me. I'm still a newbie, okay? This is what it's looking like with the second layer of the border. I think I'm just gonna rest and fill up my cup some more. Oh, actually quick, I wanna show you this. This is the purse that I made. How cute is she? It's a bunch of granny squares that I just stitched together. I got these little tags made. They say crafted by SJ for me to put on the stuff that I make. And I think that they are just so cute. And I love this bag. So I plan on making it in like different colors, maybe different styles of granny squares. This will probably be something that I sell. You guys have been here for like my whole crochet journey, so I need to shut up. Just in case this is the end of the vlog, I want you guys to know that I love you. I'm so incredibly grateful for all the opportunities that I have because of you, and I can't wait to take you along to Bora Bora, which is so freaking crazy. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!